how can I get out of the rat race? Ready to get out of the rat race? Today, I'm gonna to show you how. In this video, I'm gonna show you a little known niche that you can get into for very little money in a really quick time and you can start making very quickly. And best of all, you can do it on the side. And be sure to stay on till the end because there I'm gonna give you access to a free resource where you can learn more and get started yourself. You know you've gotta quit the rat race when you just can't stand going to work one more day, when you just can't face the boss one more time or those annoying coworkers. It's time for you to think about getting out of the rat race. But here's the thing. We have payments, we have mortgages, we have house payments, we have car payments, we've got kids to take care of, we've got responsibilities in life, so it may seem impossible and you can feel trapped in the rat race. The good news is that you are not trapped over the long term. Am I telling you you can leave tomorrow? No. But I'm, am I telling you that you can leave quickly? Yes. And here's how you do it. You need to look for a business where it doesn't cost a lot of money to start, where you can start it on the side so that you don't have to leave your workplace and feel like you're diving off a cliff and putting yourself in danger. Instead, you start your business on the side, you get it going, get it producing some income, and once the income it's producing meets your monthly bills and replaces your income, well then it's really easy to leave. You can walk in, let your boss know, hey, it's not working out, I found something new, I'm gonna be going doing that, so I'm giving notice. And you can do that without stress. So let's talk about how you're gonna do that. I found this amazing business, it's called Overages. Probably you've never heard of it because it's an unknown little niche business. What we do is we help people that have lost a home to foreclosure get back a big refund that they have no idea that is owed to them. And here's how it works. When a house is foreclosed, meaning sold at a forced sale because either they didn't pay their mortgage, that's a mortgage foreclosure, or because they didn't pay their real estate taxes for three or four years, then when the house sells, chances are it's gonna sell for far more than the mortgage balance and certainly far more than the tax balance. Because remember, you're only talking three to four years behind in taxes. And three to four years behind isn't that much relative to the whole value of the house. So when you don't pay your taxes, they'll put the house up for auction and there, there are many bidders there aggressively bidding. Because as you probably know, it's hard to get good real estate these days. It's hard to get any kind of a deal on real estate and tax foreclosure auctions are one of the last sources for great deals. So at those auctions, there are lots of excited bidders just raising their hands, raising their paddles, bidding away like crazy. And typically they're gonna buy a house for about 80% of its as is value. So if we're saying average house in America, which is worth a little over $400,000, they're gonna pay around $320,000 for it, minus whatever it'll take to fix it up. So let's just say the house really needs some work, needs $120,000 worth of work. So someone's gonna pay instead of 320,000, maybe they're gonna pay 200,000 for it and they will be thrilled. Because you can imagine you're buying a $400,000 house and you're buying it for $200,000. So they're jumping up and down, right? Well, if you think about it from the owner's perspective, meaning the person that lost the house at the tax sale, they probably owed on a house like that around $50,000 if they're four years behind in taxes. So they owe $50,000 but the government collected $200,000 at the tax sale. So think about that for a minute. They sold it for, they sold it for $200,000, they, $50,000 was owed. So how does that math work out? Well, if they collected $200,000 and they needed $50,000 to pay the taxes, that extra $150,000 is left over and that is called overages. That overages money is available for the former owner to claim. And here's the problem. The former owners have no idea that this money is out there. They think, well, the government sold my house, so the government must keep the money because they sold it, right? They don't think there could be any possibility of them getting some money. And it's not like the government goes and like tracks them down, sends someone knocking on the door with the check saying, hey, you know, I know you lost your house, but here's an extra $150,000 left over. They're not gonna do that. And you know why not? Because they get to keep the money if no one comes to claim it. So there's really not much incentive for them to go track anybody down and give the money. Now, let me be clear. If the person shows up and applies for the money, they absolutely get it. The government doesn't give people a hard time. It's sort of like an income tax refund. You know, you don't do your tax return. If you're owed $10,000 in taxes, they don't call you up and say, hey, would you take 5,000? They don't do it. They just give you the money, right? So if you apply, you get the money, no problem. But most people don't apply. As a matter of fact, the state of Maryland did a three-year study 
where they found that 70% of the time, people don't claim the money. So 30% you know, they do, 70% they don't. So literally, there's hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars sitting out there right now waiting to be claimed. If you look on your screen, this is an actual list from one county, one state of money that's sitting there in that county in that state. And there are 3,000 counties around the United States. So there are many, many of these lists around. Look at the leads on there. There are ones that are six figures that you can see. They're high five figures, you know, 50, 60, 70, $80,000. They're $100,000 and more. Lots of big leads, and that's because the houses sell for a lot of money because houses are worth a lot of money. So all that money is just sitting there. And also notice on that list that there are a lot of older leads. There are a lot of leads that have been sitting there for, for months and months and months and not being claimed. And that's typical. The money just sits there until it forfeits to the government. And that is a process called escheatment. And in most states, it's about three years long. It varies. Some states it's longer, some states it's a little shorter, but most states it's, it's three years. And if you don't claim the money in three years, the government just keeps it. But look at that money and imagine if you were owed you know, that six-figure sum that you see there on your screen, would you wait months and months to go get the money? I wouldn't. I'd be down there right now, and so would you. So the thing is, this money just sits there until the vast majority of it, according to the state of Maryland, 70% of it forfeits, and that's the end of it. So there's a business opportunity here. Getting back to you, because you're the most important person today, how does this make a side business? It makes the world's greatest size business, side business, and here's what it is. We get the list, just like you saw, just like this list you're seeing on your screen, and we pick out the leads we want to follow up on, and we contact the people. You can see the names are right there. We contact the former owners and say, hey, Fred, I got great news for you. There's a big refund that you're owed. Our company is in the business of helping people get those refunds. If you'd like to work with us, then we're happy to go and get the money. And if we're successful, we get a percentage. If we're not successful, it doesn't cost you a penny. We don't need your social security number. We don't need any sensitive information. All we need is your permission to go forward and do this. We will go pursue the money, assuming we get it. We'll get a percentage, you'll get the majority of it, and you'll be a really happy guy. That's what the business is. When they say yes, we sign them up. I have paperwork that I can give you. We sign them up with the paperwork. And then you apply for the money. That's just mailing in the claim, by the way. You mail in the claim. And then in a couple months, the government will cut your check and send it back. It's a really straightforward business. And of course, there are details to it. I, I'm an attorney. So I've been into this business for over 10 years, so I know all the details. That's beyond what we're going to get into on this short intro video. But I can show you all those details because that's, that's part of what I do in my business. This is an amazing business for you because you can start this on the side. Because you're basically getting lists online. These lists are free. They're available online. I can show you how to search and get them quickly. It takes just a couple minutes. You get the list. You look up the contact information for the people. Again, that's some quick, easy online research. Because these days, pretty much everybody can be found. You know, if you want to find that old high school friend, you know, it's easy to do these days on Facebook and other social media. It's just as easy to find the people that have lost their houses. So we get their contact information. For us, generally, we just call them up, but you can send them a letter. You can send them a message through Facebook. You can contact them, you know, a combination of ways. Usually, we're just calling them because it's easiest. You call them up, Again, say, hey, Fred, you're on a big refund. Our company's in the business of getting that. Would you like to work with us? We're not telling them where the money is and getting all those details. We're telling them, if you'd like to work with us, we'll go and get you the money. They'll then hire you to get their money. We charge 30 to 40%, depending on the claim. It's a free country. You can charge the percentage you want. But for us, that's our, pro our profit goal is 30 to 40%. And you can see from the list that you see on your screen, imagine you know, the kind of money you can make with this if you're making 30 to 40% of those claims. Again, I want to stress, it's a free country. You want to charge a little less, a little more, have at it. For us, 30 to 40%. So just imagine earning a percentage of all those monies you see on your screen. That's why it's this wildly profitable business. And you can start on the side because you can do that research on nights and weekends. You know, the internet's open 24 seven, right? So you could do that and you can call people at nights and weekends because that's when they're home anyway. Because chances are they're out during the day too. So you can call them up and you can work this whole thing. And again, you're mailing in the claims. You're never going to meet anybody. We do everything remotely by mail. We even have people that will go out for you. They'll meet with the folks, get all the paperwork signed and return them to you. Cost less than $100 to get that done. So you literally don't even have to leave your house to do this business. Absolutely fantastic. And you can get this going on the side and once you start that revenue coming in from these claims, that's what we call them, overages claims, once the revenue is coming in, 
and you have a pipeline of leads that you've signed up but haven't yet paid out, well, then you're free to leave your, your job without stress because you don't worry about paying your mortgage. You don't worry about paying your car payment. You don't worry about you know, running out of money. You don't have to because you can fill up your bank account first and you have leads that are already in the pipeline coming in. So it really is a fantastic business for someone who wants to escape that rat race because I was in the rat race once. I get it. I worked for a large law firm and that is a really tough place to work. I was a real estate attorney doing transactional work, which is basically hourly work. And it's just a grind. And as soon as you do one project, you know, get a property to closing or, or close out a, a deal selling a house, the next three are lined up behind you. And it's just like a pie eating contest for the prize is more pie. And so I get where you are. I get wanting to have that, that side business and launching out of that, that rat race. And I'm here to tell you it is possible and I have the, the tools for you to do it. It's a very low cost business to start. It doesn't cost a lot of money to get the education. You don't need special equipment as long as you have an internet connection and either a laptop or an iPad so you can get the lists and a telephone, you're good. And you probably have an internet connection and a telephone. You're watching this video, so you must. And you know, get yourself a laptop or an iPad and you are good to go. Really straightforward business. So I wanna tell you more about this business, more in depth. So I've recorded a short intro to the Overages business video. If you see a link on your screen, click on that. Otherwise, click on the link in the description below. You'll see one of those depending on your browser. Click on that. There, I'll give you more in depth about this business. And if you wanna get started in training, I'll give you an opportunity to get started with full training. As I said, I'm an attorney, I've been doing this for 10 years. I know the business inside out. We need more people doing this. There are 3,000 tax sales a day held in the United States. And every time there's a house, pretty much there's an overage. And it's just sitting there. People need your help. You need to make some money. You need to get out of that rat race. So let's get the, get the two of you together, spring you from the rat race, help these people who really need it and you can get started with your new life. So click on the link, go see that intro to the Overages video, and I'll see you there.